Hi guys and gals, thanks for clicking on today's video. I need your help with something. I'm going on a stag do. I know I haven't done myself any favours by dyeing my hair pink in advance, um, but I need, I do need your help with fragrances. I've got a few ideas of a few different perfumes, a few different fragrances that I want to take for certain circumstances. It's only going to be like three days that we're going to be there. Um, and obviously I don't want to pack too much, so I'm going to have to whittle down a few of them. And yeah, feel free to leave it in the comments which ones you'd go for for which circumstance. So guys, main fragrance just for the daytime, you know, going out, walking around the place, maybe having a meal in the daytime, maybe doing an activity, things like that. I need some fragrances. I've whittled it down to a choice of three, and there's one out of the three that I'm definitely taking, which is going to be Mancera Cedra Bois. This is just perfect, you know, it's, it's April, it's spring, it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Um, it's, it's not like a mature fragrance, it's quite a juvenile fragrance almost, so, you know, we're quite young, it's, we're like 27, 28 years of age, so I think this one is going to be a must, it'll last forever, good stuff, good to go, but now I need a choice out of the other two. The other two fragrances that I've thought of for the daytime are both quite classy fragrances, but in different ways. The first one is Blasted Bloom by the house Penhaligans, and the other one is Tonka by Laboratory Perfumes, okay? Pros and cons of both. Blasted, they both last forever, I'll say that. They're both really, really good performers, and they've got great projection. Like said, drop wise, they're gonna last all day, okay? Blasted Bloom is a super citrus fresh blast. Um, smells a lot to me like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for men. That's what this smells like. It's got that salty marine sort of going on. Um, but it's, it's, class, it's a little bit classier than Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So will it be too classy for seven boys on a stag do? Compare that to Tonka. Tonka is going to last forever. This is like a very, like a classic men's fragrance, like a barbershop, Fuji. It, it smells like, um, it smells a lot like Koros for men in that white bottle, that 80s or 90s powerhouse of a fragrance. But this is less biting. This is like less animalic, less rough around the edges. Um, I, I'm not too sure why they call it Tonka because I don't, I, I associate Tonka with vanilla and, you know, like nice sweet fragrance. But this this just smells like a classic men's fragrance um but then is it going to be too masculine as well like i know it's seven boys but is this perhaps a little bit too mature i can't decide i want to take one other one which one out of these two it's going to be cedra bois and one of these two let me know in the comments right moving on to nighttime and this is just going to be not like a main going out fragrance but perhaps the first night where we're just checking the place out Maybe the third night, but not, not the main going out. This is just nice, relaxing. Maybe going for a meal in the nighttime. I'm thinking, and I'm only going to take one. Poor Om. Um, sorry, my cat's making a lot of noise. Poor Om Noir Amber by Issey Miyake or Ritual Medictive Tobacco Collection. Okay. Now, pros and cons. I personally think they're both amazing fragrances for nice nighttime fragrances. I'm not going to say date night because it's seven boys, but. Um, yeah, Ritual Medictive, cheap and cheerful, it smells really good, it smells honey, coconut, um, a very warm, relaxing kind of smell, but also is Noir Amber, but I would say that Noir Amber smells classier, it does smell more like a, it's worth money, if you know what I mean, it's cost like 50, 60 quid, um, but yeah, I, I don't know guys, what do you think, what do you think, um, I can't decide myself. You're going to have to let me know. I think I've done reviews on each of these, so feel free to check the videos there and compare the two. Which one out of these two? Okay, so for the main night, the main going out night, maybe some fancy dress. If if the pers if the groom's watching this, I'm not going to say anymore. There may be a little bit of fancy dress. Um, the two that I've whittled it down to are Ultraviolet Man? Ultraviolet Man by Paco Rabanne and Casino Royale but do a fragrances, okay? These are the two sweetest fragrances that I own, in my opinion. Pros and cons. Um, this one will last forever. This one is super strong. It's, it may be it may be a straight to parfum, but at least eau de parfum. This one, because it's like a reformulation, it doesn't last that long, but then you could take that as a benefit. You could say, well, this one, you know, you could choke people out. It could be too strong. You know, it's going to be warm and, you know, it... it what are you going to do? You know, people are, it's going to be too sweet. Whereas this one is a little bit more, 
easier to digest maybe but then on the flip side you could say that this more people are going to smell like this one you know this is a more common one maybe you're just going to blend in with everyone else whereas this one less people probably would have heard of or own and then you're going to stand out more interesting little thing about ultraviolet man this is like one of the first fragrances that i have a scent memory with and it does involve going out i remember going to in south wales going out to cardiff it's like the capital of wales quite a few clubs there and they used to i don't think there is anymore but they used to be these men just we they just used to be known as lucky lucky men you would just you would go into a bathroom in a club it's, it sounds bad bear with me you go into a bathroom in a club and um there would there would just be a man by the sinks and there would be a little bit of wash basins if you're American by the sinks and um he would you know there would be like 20 different fragrances and he'd have a big like a big pot and you would just pay him like a pound or 50 pence and then he would he would ask you if there was any that you liked or he would just recommend one and i remember this is the one that he give he, he recommended to me and he just he and all he would say would just be lucky lucky this this will make you lucky lucky tonight yeah lucky and he would spray everywhere everywhere so yeah guys which one out of the two help me out those are my choices i'm sure i'll have a great time regardless but i would be curious on your opinions which one shall i rock do you think you've got a better choice maybe i do have it in my collection as a sample let me know